Welcome back to Pinoy Screencast and here's a tutorial kung paano gawin tong vintage typography here in Adobe Illustrator. So basically, gagamitin natin font is the thefont.com which is crown title on linya. You have to download this and once na ma-download nyo siya, all you have to do is right click and install. And makikita nyo na sa Adobe Illustrator nyo. Next, we will create a new document which is file, new, and then I'll just choose the web and yung pinang malaki, 1280 by 800 and I'll just use RGB for web uh, purposes in high resolution 300 dpi okay so all you have to do is create a text by pressing the T on the keyboard or clicking the text tool so here select natin this one then type your crown title so, we'll resize lang natin siya that will fit yung mismong artboard. So, para mas lumaki yung artboard natin, control shift H para spread siya. And here, what you have to do is convert this into outline. So, I'll first duplicate this para may reference pa rin ako later on. There. And just hide this, control 3 para ma-hide. Click, right click, and create outlines. Now, overlapping sila ngayon but I'll remove that overlap overlapping by control C control F and then this one Pathfinder you can have this on Pathfinder window and click nyo yung unite so once na na unite na siya isang buo na yan so when I change the color into gray iba na siya na ang color alright so selected yun I'll just separate it on a different layer this one so para pwede ko ma-hide yung black Okay, next is this one, lalagyan natin siya nung grid, or ito yung pinaka background na gray na stripe. So to do that, all you have to do is click and then object path, offset path, and 10 pixel preview into 4 uh, limit and offset to 10. So pwede kong balik to sa black para mas makita niya siya, ganyan. But I'll have to hide this first and focus on this one. So this one, all I have to do is create a path. This one, come to this one, and let's go convert. Control Shift X, yeah. Control, ah, sorry, Shift X, Shift X, yeah. Para make you change. So same color siya nito. So lana sa stroke, and I'll just duplicate that and drag it here, and then use the blending tool, click and click the second path. So, nag-create siya ngayon, but hindi siya na-fill up yung buong layer. So, here, click Alt and left-click sa mouse. Preview and specified stack. Gawin ko 350. And, yeah. Okay ko. So, kailangan, when you mask, or when you clipping mask this out, as ay taas dapat yung pagmamask natin, or yung mismong reference na paglalagay niya. So, kailangan, ito na sa ilalim, Control shift open bracket para nasa pinakailalim and then highlight the two and right click make clipping mask so done na yung sa background natin so we need to have an inside stroke on this layer so to do that all you have to do is click new stroke and add a five point and click nyo yung inside stroke which is in the middle so we need to separate this by click and then object expand appearance Okay, so once na separate nyo, we'll have two layers here. So, I'll just duplicate it para meron akong backup. So, this one, I'll change it to brown or lighter brown. And just this one, I need to put it as a dark brown. Alright, so once na nagawa na to, all we need to do is yung mismong shadow niya yung outside na shadow so we will have two this one so that there's that one so lako muna iba control c control b and then move it so pwede kong ito yung highlight yung white na gagawin natin yan so that's the highlight part so ang gagawin natin is we will subtract it. So, kita nyo. Diba? Siya na yung highlight 
Nah. Diba? So, pwede natin gamitin yan, but we want to subtract it from the original. So, this one. So, duplicate ko lang ulit to. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And we need to lock that. Para lang may reference tayo, may backup tayo lagi. So, selecting the two, yung brown and yung white, exclude. Yan. So, once na exclude yan, nakikita nyo, separated na yung mismong layer na yan. And we can change the color to white. There. As you can see here, medyo hindi nag-render na maayos. Not sure kung saan yung problem nito. Which is, yan, mag-jitter. Something na hindi perfect yung curve. But, it's okay for this uh, purpose of the demo. So, all we have to do is delete yung mga unnecessary na sinubtract niya. Okay? So, right-click, ungroup, and we just have to delete. Alright, so once na na-finish nyo siyang burahin, next natin ngayon is yung shadow na block. So here, naka-layer lang siya. This one. So, pwede kong isang iselect. Hmm, as a whole. Ayan. And let's double check kung may mga meron pang, yeah, meron pa siyang mga na-highlight na hindi naman kailangan. And group control G and this will be the highlights. Highlights, highlights, highlights. So, meron pa kung hindi na mubura, and I'll just delete that. So next is the shadow. So unselect ko lang this one. So this will be again a duplicate. So C F and lock that, lock this, and move it to the left or to the right. I mean. color this block and then here as you can see we will be subtracting this one actually yung brown na to is yung kukunin natin not the black one so we need to this one so control c control f and yan parang ganyan yung effect we need to put this on the top there and then select and subtract so there so once I selected to change the color to black and we can position it away yeah it's an edge diba? so Going on that, you will have to delete your unnecessary materials or your objects.
Okay, so once na nabura nyo na yung mga unnecessary shadows, ang next natin is yung nasa gitna na stripes, this one. Okay, so we need to duplicate this one. So, siya kasi yung paglalagyan ng different stripes. So, what we can do is, to tal alam natin na ito, yung paglalagyan. So, this will be the fill. We will now create a guide or yung grid. So, minimize ko lang muna ito. Ayan. And then, B again. Drag and drag. I'll click, I mean. And delete that. And this one, drag sa baba. Now, this one is manifest. It's like color gray. So, color gray, color gray. This one. And remove this one and stroke to 0.25. And this, this one stroke to let's just sing that and two. There. So now blending mode again. So click and click the two. So there, as you can see, image, it's not really that appropriate. You dummy long lines. So we need to edit. So we need to adjust the steps. So let's lessen the steps here. And uh, there, I think that one or this one. Yeah. Then okay. So this one we need to cut. Cut that and click you know, the mismo merong fill. So click the inside, draw inside, and then Control shift b or paste in placed and there as you can see nasa loob na siya ngayon nung mismo ano natin bounding box na yun ng font or yung mismo path na yun so all you have to do is just adjust yung color ng ating grids so, adding by adding additional this one Selecting yon and changing the color, or we can do a blending right there. So, screen yan overlay. I think overlay is good. Yeah, so there. So, as you can see, create natin yung ganong effect na medyo 3D like siya. Although hindi siya perfect, kasi we need to adjust this, but for this purpose of the demo, hindi ko na yeah, adjust siya to make it. Perfect. But and for the last part, ang lalagyan natin is yung highlights sa top niya. Yung parang meron siyang art dito. So, by simply creating a rectangle and and lips in there. So, this one and this one subtract with a layer which is the brown, yung brown yung fill, yung merong fill na text. So, we need to find that. Yeah, yung fill. So we need to duplicate that. Control C and Control F. So we need to put it on top. Yeah. I click make clipping mask. And there. So all you have to do is change the soft light. And there. So you can adjust the color if you want. Para mas mag boost pa siya. Or you can duplicate this one you can just yeah duplicate para mas mag uh, show up pa siya and also here's a quick trick para mas mag siya ng effect so we can highlight this one uh, select the chill hat and we can group it group yeah you can go here on effect view warp arc preview so as you can see Pwede siyang ma-change or ma-enhance like for example, pwede niyo siyang do something like this na mas ma-enhance yung look niya by a bulge or something di ba? and uh, flag or something right? so experiment with this there, ba? so pwede niyo siyang gawin ganyan and you can drag it here something like that 
Diba? And also, with this one, kagandahan niya is, you go to appearance, you can adjust yung kanyang settings if you want to. And you can put it back to the original one. So, zero and zero. Public yan dun sa original niya. Or just remove mismo yung wrap niya. And marating siya. So, at least, pwede nga ibibalik kung ano man yung original state niya. Alright? Okay, so additional info. So, ngayon ko na napansin when I post the video is that this is not an all caps. So, on my original na text, as you can see here, may curve siya na style. Which is, that is because when I type, screen you know, screencast naka all caps yon and to do that you all you have to do is go to character and click this all caps and kung nasa CS5 ko yun dito yun all caps okay so yan um, you just have to do the same technique na you apply and it will be same as this one kung man yung look nito alright so that's my tutorial for this video and hope you can share and like this video all right so see you on my next screencast